Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. Our first time making love. This reading is timeless. And for this reading, there are four different options. Option one, friends don't let friends drive bulldozers ripped on acid. Option two, life is like a corn dog. I don't know why, it just is. Option three, dear karma, what the fuck? Quatro, four. Laughter is the best medicine, except for erectile dysfunction. This could be someone you know. This could be someone in the future. As always, timestamps will be provided. Go ahead and make your selection. If you chose pile one, friends don't let friends drive bulldozers ripped on acid. Here is your reading. Six of pentacles, seis de oros. Seven of Pentacles, Siete de Oros. The Sun, El Sol. May be a long time coming, so to speak, but this will be well worth the wait. Gonna do a good hard shuffle. Uno más. Bueno. Four of Swords. Cuatro de Espadas. Reminds me of that Duran Duran song. I just heard it in the beauty salon, hair salon, Fantastic Sam's, girls on film. Cuatro de espadas. You're manifesting this right now. Death, muerte. You're going through a dry spell. Night of fire, caballo de bastos. But it's not really a dry spell. I mean, you're choosing not to date. You're choosing to take care of yourself. You're choosing meditation. You're probably on a spiritual path and you're not wanting casual sex. You're not wanting to be with someone just to be with someone. You're holding out for a hero. You're holding out for something optimal. If you're talking to someone right now, if you're connecting with someone, there's absolutely no rush. There's no desperation. There's no urgency here. You're both content with how your lives are. Distance could be a factor. You could be in Australia. This person could be in Japan. There could be a lot of distance, but I'm not seeing a rush. I'm not seeing urgency here. It's not a personal reading, of course. I'm reading for an audience, a global audience, but I feel like most of you are probably not in 
a relationship at all. You're not talking to anyone right now. Two of Cups, those are the Copas. The Moon, La Luna. Nope, I don't read reversals. I have a few videos explaining how I read tarot with this channel. I go more in depth at Patreon. Justice, La Justicia. Okay, what I'm getting, and this reading will be short and sweet, probably less than 30 minutes. Um, your first night with this person, and this could be with someone you're manifesting right now, someone you've not met, someone in the future, it is going to be romantic. It's not going to be two people just getting together in the Applebee's parking lot or the La Quinta Inn. Um, it's going to be well thought out. It's going to be planned. And it will already be established before you take your clothes off and do the thing that there are feelings. You'll have already said, I love you before you have the sex. This could be someone you regard as a soulmate, possibly a twin flame. I don't really get into the labels at this channel. I don't feel like the labels serve much purpose. But there's going to be mutuality. And that's what true love is. It's a mutual exchange. There's love. There's affection. There's warmth. You're fucking. And it doesn't matter what positions you're in or... The BDSM bells and whistles, whatever, the feeling is there. To me, the feeling is everything, but I'm vanilla and I'm a romantic. So there's eye contact. There are words of love. And this is going to be a relationship. It's quite possible. It's probable that this is going to lead to a life partnership or marriage. I call out astro combos for fun. I'm obsessed with astrology. Check out my extra basic tarot channel for zodiac readings and astrology videos. Um, a possible astro combo for this person. They could have sun and Taurus, Cancer rising, moon and Scorpio. One possibility of many. You could have Sun and Leo, Taurus rising, Moon and Libra. Those are just possibilities. But I feel like you and this person are going to have excellent synastry. You could have Moon conjunct Moon, Sun conjunct Moon, Mercury conjunct Mercury, Neptune conjunct Venus, Mars conjunct Venus. But this is white hot to me. It's white hot because the focus is not so much on the sexual attraction. This is a spiritual match, an energetic match. Very romantic, very intense. That is what I see for pile one. I hope that helps. I am always available for private, in-depth, personal readings. All the information is included in each and every description box. Thanks so much for watching. Muchas gracias. Peace out. And if you chose dose, pile two. Life is like a corn dog. I don't know why, it just is. Here's your reading. Temperance, la templanza. The Magician, El Mago, Eight of Swords, Ocho de Espadas. Right out the gate, I'm seeing shared orgasms, multiple orgasms. And I am seeing marathon sex last for hours and hours and there is music a stage is set music candles sage incense okay a 
essential oils, massage oils maybe. I'm seeing whipped cream, ready whip. Queen of Air, Reina de Espadas, Queen of Swords. Eight of Cups, Ocho de Copas. Nine of Cups, Nueva, Nueve de Copas. Okay, a lot of thought is put into this. This is a meeting of the minds. So probably a lot of you leading up to this, there is a lot of sexting, strategizing, fantasizing. What do you like, baby? How do you like it? Dirty talk, sweet talk, Skype sex. Is that a thing? I'm sure it is. Skype sex, FaceTime sex, WhatsApp sex. Sex before sex. But not just that. With the Nine of Cups in the last row, in-depth conversation, so it's not just sex. It's not just sexting. Page of Wands, so that they bust those Three of Swords, Tres de Espadas, and Queen of Wands, Reina, they bust those. Okay, so that's good. We have the two signifiers. I don't really count pages as signifiers. Queen of Swords in the first row, Queen of Wands in the last. You're about the same age. And there's a lot of masculine energy here. So fire, air, a possible astral combo for this person. They could have sun and Gemini, Sagittarius rising, moon and Scorpio. You could have sun and Aries, Cancer rising, moon and Aquarius. Those are just possibilities. But I'm seeing two sapiosexuals. You prefer fucking someone who is intelligent, someone you can have in depth conversations with. Um, and sex is important to you. Sex is a big deal. You don't take it casually. I don't feel like either one of you have had a lot of partners, you're very discerning. You don't just have sex with anyone. So there has to be some feeling there. There has to be emotions involved. So you're going to be in love when you finally fuck. I feel like with all this talking, all this planning, distance is very likely a factor. You could be in New York, they could be in Tokyo, or you could be in Sydney, Australia, they could be in Paris, France, or Paris, Texas. So you get together and you exceed each other's expectations. The orgasms are easy because sex starts in the mind and this person turns you on beyond belief mentally. They stimulate you mentally and it's mutual, mutual braingasms and orgasms. So everyone's happy. Um, You probably have Mercury conjunct Mercury. You could have Mercury conjunct Neptune. With that, there's going to be mental telepathy. The communication is just top notch. It's the gold standard for pile two. So 
That's what I see. Hope that helps. I'm always available for private in-depth personal readings. All the info is in each and every description box. I also do natal chart readings, synastry readings. With the synastry readings and with the natal chart, I'm looking at the luminaries, the sun, the moon, the personal planets. I'm not really fucking with the asteroids unless you request it, but I don't give much credence to asteroids. I do look at the North Node. The North Node is pretty damn important. Uh, check out Extra Basic Tarot for Zodiac readings and astrology videos. Patreon for in-depth tarot tutorials and astrology videos. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. You chose three. Dear Karma, what the fuck? Here's your pile. Here's your reading. Knave of Wands. Sota de Bastos. But they also call the page the Sota. So, I don't know. Knaves and pages or Sota. The knaves just seem so superfluous. I don't see the purpose of the knaves. Or the pages, really. I think it's fine just keeping it at kings, queens, knights. The emperor. El emperador. The fool. El loco. This person likes to take charge. I don't usually get into the specifics of the sex. It's more about the feelings involved and the dynamic of the relationship. But I can see this person grabbing your hair. And um, being verbally abusive. Upon request, maybe it's a BDSM thing. This person's the dom, you're the sub. I'm getting masculine energy. Very masculine. Well, the Emperor, that's the most masculine card in the deck. Mars, Aries. Spank that ass. Harder. <laughs> Make it sting. Spank that ass. Six of cups. Ace the copas. Six of swords. Says the espadas. Two sixes. Six is Venus. And this is a timeless reading, but as I record this, as I publish this, it's Friday, May 6th, 2022. And Friday is ruled by Venus. Knave of Air. So that they espadas. Knave of Swords. Yeah, the knave seems superfluous. Ace of Wands, as de bastos. The star, la estrella. And Eight of Cups, ocho de copas. Okay. Uh, you could meet on social media, possibly. You can meet on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever the newest thing is, WhatsApp, whatever, Reddit. Uh, 
I've seen distance for all of these piles so far. So you could be in Atlanta. This person could be in Vancouver. You could be in Tokyo. This person could be in Dubai. I see distance. I see Skype, FaceTime. There's a lot of lead up. A lot of tension is built up over a period of time. So you could be talking online for six months, a year longer before you actually meet in person and do the thing. And I do see BDSM. I see this person being the dom, you being the sub. They are the top, you are the bottom. Could be some spanking, hair pulling, dirty talk, verbal abuse. Um, the romance, the sweetness is going to come later. It's going to be very lusty, very sexual. The sex could be a defense mechanism. You're having sex, it's dirty, it's hot, it's lusty. You don't want to get too emotionally intense right away. Uh, you could both have strong Aquarius in your natal charts because we have two Aquarius cards, the star and the fool. I associate six of swords with Libra because six is Venus and Venus rules Libra. Eight is Capricorn. Um, it's going to get deep. It's going to get intense, but not until you've had sex a few times. The first few times you have sex, there's going to be a lot of... Um, a lot of game playing, role playing. You're not really being your authentic selves. You're not necessarily being vulnerable because you're scared of being rejected is what I'm getting to go really deep, to get psychological. So there is fear here, fear of rejection. This person has a lot of bravado. They come on like this big, um, masculine badass, regardless of gender. This could be a man or a woman, regardless of sexual preference. This person has this masculine bravado. I'm seeing machismo. They are romantic, but they're not going to show you that right away. A possible astral combo for this person, they could have Sun and Aries, Libra rising, Moon and Aquarius, one possibility of many. You could have Sun and Libra, Moon and Aquarius, Scorpio rising. I feel like you have a lot of squares and oppositions in your synastry. Just my opinion, I feel like squares and oppositions make things more interesting. I find the trines and sex styles to be quite boring. You could also have Pluto conjunct moon. With Pluto conjunct moon, you're going to see the mind games, the power struggle, the fight for control. Usually Pluto has the upper hand. That's very BDSM. Pluto is the dom and the moon is the sub. Pluto is the masculine and the moon is the feminine. Um, there's going to be a lot of gratification, not just the obvious, not just sexual gratification, not just orgasms, but emotional but it's going to be a buildup. It's not going to be instant gratification for pile three. It's going to feel like it's long overdue.
that's what I see. That's what I have. I hope that was entertaining. Heavy emphasis at this channel on entertainment purposes. I'm just one person shuffling the cards. I'm always available for private in-depth personal readings. All the info's in the box. Check out Extra Basic Tarot for Zodiac readings and astrology videos. Muchas gracias. And if you chose Quatro, pile four. Laughter is the best medicine except for erectile dysfunction. Here's your pile. Two of Pentacles, those they oros. Nope, I don't read reversals. Death, muerte. In fact, I have a video of this channel. No reversals. Knight of Wands, Caballo de Bastos. I go a lot more in depth at my Patreon on how I read tarot. Okay. This is going to be quite intense. Definitely not casual. Definitely not a hit it and quit it. Uno mas. Bueno. Six of Pentacles, Seis de Oros. Seven of Wands, Seis de Bastos. Five of Cups, Cinco de Copas. And not going to lie, I'm honest to a fault, as they say, although I don't agree with that. I don't think there's any fault whatsoever to being honest, just keeping it real, no BS, no bullshit. It's going to be intense because one of you, probably you, because you're watching a tarot reading, you're going to be a lot more emotionally involved than this person. It's definitely not casual for you. Your heart is involved. Are they going to break your heart? That's certainly a possibility. With Five of Cups and Seven of Wands, there's a lot of resistance. They're not being real. They're not showing up. They're not being emotionally available. The High Priestess, La Sacerdotisa. You're going to see the red flags. You're going to ignore them. It's like I've said numerous times. If it weren't for ignoring the red flags, I'd have never had sex. I'd have never been in a relationship. I'm all about ignoring the red flags. That's why I'm a tarot expert. Eight of Wands, Ocho de Bastos. I call that the sex card. This person's going to come on really strong. The song that I'm hearing is Pour Some Sugar on Me, Def Leopard, King of Pentacles, Ray de Oros. This person is very lusty. They have an extremely strong libido. They require a lot of gratification. Um, if you're a woman, and this is a man, I hope you enjoy giving blowjobs. That's a requirement. They want the blowjobs. Regardless of this person's gender or sexual preference, they're very sexual, they're very lusty, and they're going to want to have sex right away. They're going to want to have sex before a relationship is established. So this is the kind of person who is going to slide into your DMs. They're not shy. 
They go after what they want. They're very bold. They have total confidence. Uh, they come on really strong. They want to see pictures. They want to see videos. They have definite preferences. Definite fetishes. Very strong possibility this person is to, is into BDSM. Now, I don't know if they have all the accessories, all the toys, all the bells and whistles, but at least psychologically, they're very much into BDSM. They want to be in control. They want to dominate. They call the shots. They can text you. They can call you. It would probably turn them off if you contacted them. They want to be the one running the show. A possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun and Leo, Taurus rising, Moon and Aries. You could have Sun and Scorpio, Taurus rising, Moon and Cancer. Just possibilities. But I feel like you have more feminine energy and they have more masculine. You have more water and earth. They have more fire. They have fire and earth is what I'm seeing. They could have air as well, but I'm seeing fire and earth because I'm looking at fire and earth. The Knight of Wands, the King of Pentacles. Could be a bit of an age gap. I feel like this person has a lot more sexual experience than you do. Uh, you may feel awkward. You may doubt your appeal, your abilities. Uh, you're shy, you're the introvert, you want this person to lead the way because you're not sure of yourself. Um, you doubt your appeal, you doubt your abilities. You trust this person to know how it goes. You let them dominate, you let them dictate. So, there is a possibility that you're going to fall hard for this person and they may not fall for you. But this is about your first time making love. It will be love for you. I feel like it's going to be more casual for them. But they're very interested in bringing you to orgasm. They want you to have a good time. They want to make you feel good. They're going to be totally present in the moment. There's no yesterday. There's no tomorrow. There's just now. The power of now, Eckhart Tolle. I don't feel like this person is on an especially spiritual path. Uh, I feel like they're in the noise. They're in the noise of social media. They're always on their phone. Um, could be a player. They could be talking to a few different people. Uh, again, I see you picking up on the red flags and choosing to ignore them because you want the experience of being with this person. That's what I see for pile four. Heavy emphasis at this channel on entertainment purposes. I'm reading for a global audience, not a personal reading. I am always available for personal readings. All the info's in the box. Check out Extra Basic Tarot, my other tarot channel for Zodiac readings and astrology videos. Astrology, astrology videos. That's what I have. That concludes this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.